Howdy. It is, what is today? Sunday, November 24th. I am perched atop the, uh, the pinnacle here in uh, Shenandoah National Park. It's a pretty good spot. I think this is like, uh, I think I'm at like 3,700 feet, a little over that, and I'm a couple miles short of, uh, I think it's called the Stony Man Summit, Stony Man, something like that, and that is the highest point on the AT in Shenandoah, and it's like 100, 100 feet higher than, than I am right now, uh, yeah, I saw this spot, and it's kind of shielded from the wind a little bit, so thought I'd go ahead and uh, check in with you guys. Uh, yeah, since uh, since I sort of drug my feet for a few days after, well, for a couple of days, after leaving uh, Harper's Ferry, I've actually picked it up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's that three days around Harper's. I did seven miles in, and then just a couple miles out, or a mile out the day I went into Harper's and then I did a 12 mile day to the Blackburn Center and then and then I did like uh, an 8 mile day to Bears Den so, so I think it's 27 miles in 3 days was not that impressive uh, for that little stretch but coming out of Bears Den I was well rested and, and feeling good and I think I did an 18 uh, out of the day I left Bears Den and, and uh, to Dick's Dome uh, shelter, which is a pretty cool, like geodesic kind of shelter. Um, then I think I did another 18 the following day, which was two days ago, and uh, that day included just a quick in and out of uh, Front Royal Easy Hitch, uh, right in, right out. Um, did a little resupply, lined my pack with just some snacks and stuff to get through the park. I had enough food. Um, I probably could have made it through, I would have had to hustle through, and I would have been hungry the whole time. So I lined it up with just just some more snacks and stuff to uh, to keep my belly full as I'm rolling through here, because uh, a lot of the waysides are closed. Waysides are like, uh, I don't know, I mean I haven't reached one yet, the Skyland is right up here, I'm not sure if that's even considered a wayside. Big Meadows wayside I hear is open um, until December. so open for a few more days uh, but yeah they're like little stop alongs here in the park you can get light resupply and um, get some food and, and stuff like that so looking forward to hitting uh, Skyland up here in a little bit and uh, maybe getting a burger or something like that um, but yeah uh, stayed at uh, Tom Floyd um, that second night out of Bears Den Tom Floyd I think they call it Wayside, but it's just a shelter um, just south of Front Royal, maybe three miles. And uh, had a cool night there, made a fire, and then rolled, enrolled a uh, guy out for the weekend from D.C., Virginia Slim. Um, had good conversation with him and, and actually exchanged numbers. He and I might do some hiking uh, next year if I do, in fact, end up in the Baltimore area. Uh, with every passing day, it's looking more likely that that is going to be the case. Um, yeah, just hung out with him for a little bit and then had a good time reading the shelter register that night. It was pretty funny because that shelter is like, I don't know, a mile before you enter Shenandoah and you have to like register and affix, affix this, uh, this little tag here to your pack and, and, uh, and that's kind of just the way you do it. It doesn't cost any money like it did in the Smokies, but, um, but yeah, when, uh, looking back into the entries from Southbounders from when the government shutdown was still in effect, they, uh, you know, they were all coordinating, um, Operation Shenandoah and they had, uh, they had scouts, they had people bringing up the rear. It was pretty funny how, uh, some of the different entries that were in the journal, they were all organizing Operation Shenandoah. And I did hear that a lot of people went in 
uh, to the park anyway, even though it was shut down. I heard a lot of uh, through hikers were getting fined. So I don't know how successful or unsuccessful Operation Shenandoah was, but it was entertaining to read read all the different things in the in the shelter log at, at Tom Floyd. Uh, and then uh, yesterday entered the park. Uh, beautiful, beautiful trail here in Shenandoah. Um, it's it's just nice. Uh, the Potomac Appalachian Trail Club maintains the the trail through this section and they do a good job uh, it's you know there's some up and down but it, the trails just nice and smooth and it rolls and and uh, um, shelters are pretty nice um, yeah I did uh, 23 miles in yesterday and uh, I had sh wanted to do 26 in but got a later start it's been cold um, today I think we had snow last night, snow and high winds. It's still high winds right now, and it's probably only, I don't know, 30 degrees maybe. It's probably not even that. It's probably in the 20s, I think. Yeah, look, my, I don't know if you can see, my platypus is still frozen, it's still an ice cube. Got a little bubbleage going on in there, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cold. Um, yeah, this morning was the early remnant of, uh, some of those dog days in in March and early uh, early April down in the Southern Appalachian Mountains, where you got to get up and just do everything with numb hands and put your frozen boots on with and have your feet be numb until you can start walking. So yeah, um, I guess I'm better for having had that experience earlier this year because you know I knew how to most efficiently go about breaking camp and getting out this morning. So. Um, but yeah, I'm rolling along today. I wanted to do a longer day today, a 26, but <clears throat> I, I took my time this morning uh, getting out of my bag. And uh, I'm thinking Waynesboro for, for Thanksgiving anyway. And, and if I sort of slow down, I can get there on the 27th, do a short day into Waynesboro on the 27th. Um, I had originally been kind of planning on booking it through and and two socks who I was hiking around down south and then I saw him again in New England then I saw him again in Monson, Maine um, he uh, he's from about three and a half hours from here and he uh, when I saw him last in Maine said he would do me some slack packing through the Shenandoah if, uh, if I gave him a call and I did when I got south of Harper's but I didn't realize he was three hours away when I found that out I was like kinda you know Nah, I don't. I don't know if it's worth it for him to come all the way out here, right around, uh, right around holiday traffic, just for a one-day slack pack, which is essentially what we we talked about him slacking me like 28 into Waynesboro. So um, up here on the pinnacle, I just turned my phone on. I had a little service. I called and and I spoke with his wife and you know said thank you very much for the offer, um, uh, but. I think I'll be fine. I'll just do some shorter days, and and by the time I get to Waynesboro, I'm not gonna have any food in my bag anyway. I got a pretty light pack as it is. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Two Socks. I appreciate the offer, man. But I'm not gonna have you drive six hours to uh, to slack pack me. It would be nice to see you, um, but you never know. If I'm back up in this area, like I said, it's likely I will be next year. Maybe we'll get together and do some hiking. I'd like to get back and hike here in the Shenandoah again. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice out here. It's funny, the trail, you hike through the Shenandoah, um, and in a lot of places, it's, you can tell that they, they clean the trail up. Like, they'll pull the rocks off the trail and they'll be on the side of the trail. And uh, it, it's funny, I was laughing yesterday as I was rolling through here, and it's like the complete polar opposite of the trail when you're hiking through Pennsylvania. When you're hiking through Pennsylvania, you're walking and you're like, there are no rocks <laughs> or the concentration of rocks on the outside of the trail is far, far less than that of the rocks on trail. So it's it's kind of funny. It seems like in Pennsylvania they uh, they throw rocks on trail, and here they pull them off for you. But it makes sense. I've got a theory about Pennsylvania. I think I think they put the rocks on trail and make it you know less convenient hiking on the AT 
in Pennsylvania because a lot of the trail in Pennsylvania runs through uh, state game lands and they, they probably don't want the hunters using the AT to move about. So I think that's what the rocks in PA are about. Um, uh, yeah, but here in Shenandoah, you can just kind of roll along. It's nice. Uh, yeah, really enjoying it, and this is another place, just like the 100 Mile Wilderness, where I would like to come back and do it as a section and take really take my time and do it. Um, yeah, uh, that's kind of what's going on. I'm, I'm going to keep on hiking here, go over this highest point, um, and uh, hit Skyland. Hit, there's a four-mile shelter after that, and then I'll they'll probably crank it up and do a bigger day tomorrow. I'd like to be as close to Waynesboro on the 26th as possible. That way the 27th I can just get into town, got a mail drop from my mom, go get that, go to the library, upload this sizable backlog of videos that I've got. I haven't had any wireless internet and been able to upload videos in a while. Um, uh, yeah, and then just hang out for Turkey Day. Um, find somewhere with, with Wi-Fi so I can Skype with my family and, and grub out. Looking forward to Ming Garden, which is... Uh, when I when I uh, was talking with Baltimore Jack down at Neil's Gap on day two, or maybe it was day three, I don't know. I think it was day two of my through hike. Uh, I asked him where the best buffet on trail was, and he told me Mean Garden in Waynesboro. So that's my destination on Thanksgiving. Hopefully, if they're open. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's what I got going on, and then uh, and then. Breaking out of Waynesboro, I don't know, I gotta look ahead at that stuff. I haven't really pulled those pages out yet, but alright, I will uh close this one out, get moving and, and uh get warm again. Alright, later guys.